All right, I promised I would show a video how to put together the two and a half inch siphon to fit it into a six inch drain pipe. So here we go. What I've done is a two and a half inch to two inch reduce, reducing elbow, uh, 90 degree elbow. I'm just gonna cut this with a hacksaw. You can use a, you know, a power tool. Just be careful if you do. I'm just, I'm just going to cut this off sheer. I hate this hacksaw. It doesn't, it doesn't stay straight. It sort of turns on me because I'm trying to saw with it. And uh, I'm just going to. difficult to keep it straight and blade just turns as you're trying to cut it with it. Point is just to shear it off even, so you basically it's like just got a two and a half inch pipe coming up. Oh, where is that utility knife? And voila! Now I'm just going to clean it up a little bit. Just going to clean it up a little bit. Get the rough edges off. It's not a beauty contest. At least it's not my approach to much of anything anyway. <laughs> Just get it to work. There's two ways to do this. One is What I use for the other one, and I just cut this off where it's not the you know, just where it's overhanging, cut that off. I thought about trying this. This is still a bushing, it's just a different type of bushing. It slips down inside. I wish I had a two inch, but if I had a two inch elbow, it would just slip right down inside of it. And uh, since it's already curved around the side. I thought I would try that and see how that worked. I thought it might be a bit easier. And then I can take this, that's a one and a half inch will slide in there. And this is one and a half to one inch. And it would be the same thing as using the two inch uh, to one inch, but it's already curved around the edge. And I just thought it might be easier overall doing it this way. I'm going to cut off the excess.
couldn't quite twist it in because if you take and hammer it, just tap it around the edges. And in she goes. Take our, this is where the, the straight elbow comes in, and I've already cut the straight elbow off, one inch straight elbow, and uh, on this side, and on this side, and now it fits in the six inch drain pipe. And as you can see, it fits quite nicely in a six inch drain pipe. There's a, quite a bit of room to spare actually. It's off centered uh, slightly from the hole <clears throat> in the middle of the drain. As you can see, there's a, quite a bit of room for it, plenty of room uh, for it to fit in a six inch drain pipe. I have it set up in this configuration because it's draining straight down in this grow bed. And just that little bit of drop <clears throat> down into the drain pipe is uh, all that it needs to drain straight down. And this one drains quicker than any I've ever built of uh, this two and a half inch siphon. If you watch my video ABS siphon with a twist, you'll see it set up in the other configuration, uh, the ABS siphon with a twist. And I use that for configuration when I'm using the, uh, which is basically the reason I had this one set up to drain straight down is it was already set up to drain straight down. So I had to build a siphon to drain straight down, which would be that configuration. And the configuration that I have these set up my new beds for, these are not the two and a half inch siphons. They're the two inch siphons, but they're set up like so literally just a few twists and you have have it set up in the other configuration it will fit in a six inch drain pipe set up in that configuration too as well the two and a half inch wheel and I set it up like that when I'm using the fine tuning on the bottom which you watch my videos and you'll see me talk about that just two inches of drop and two inches of runoff just a you know a couple of 90 degrees elbows stuck together and plugged flush into the you know bottom of the uh, of the bulkhead and then just straight into the drain pipe is all you need with the ABS siphon with a twist.